welcome to Cruises and Casinos. We are in beautiful Costa Maya. We are on Liberty of the Seas, Royal Caribbean. The Radiance of the Seas and MNC Seaside are also in port. It's now 11.30 a.m. It has finally stopped raining for now. The skies are still overcast. It's very windy. So we're going to take a look at the Costa Maya cruise port in the rain, as it were. One of the very few times we've ever been here that the weather is uh, so rainy and raw. It's actually chilly out here. Uh, chilly for Costa Maya, anyway. Okay, so we'll uh, take a walk through the port. Okay, so stay tuned. I couldn't uh, convince Mrs. Casinos to head down to the beach. So I'm not going to go over to Mahawal on my own. On a better day I would, there's no question, but just a little bit too uh, on the cool side to lay on the beach and uh, have a massage and always have to be uh, mindful that it may start raining again. I think the weather is supposed to be the same in Cozumel tomorrow, so I don't know if we do our, we'll do our usual routine. Okay, stay tuned. You can see the waves beating up against the shoreline. That's how windy it is out here. This is the first duty free area and I should point out that they now have uh, your bags being checked as you leave the uh, terminal, the, the pier, before you get into the uh, port. So um, that's the first. And they, of course, were confiscating a whole bunch of foods that people are bringing off the ship. I don't see my. Uh... There he is. How are you? Good to see you. Oh boy. <clears throat> I'm surprised the flyers are up on the pole in this windy weather and a little drizzly. But that's what everybody's waiting to see. I'm not sure exactly sure the correct pronunciation, but I think it's Palentia flyers. It's an ancient Mayan ritual for rain and that we have plenty of today so maybe they should have a ritual to bring the sun back out so I could go down to the beach okay let me pause until I get out of this uh, 
bottleneck over here. Oh, this store got some gorgeous stuff. This is what happens when there are three ships in port or more and it's bad weather so everybody pretty much stays uh, in the terminal cruise port. A lot of uh, excursion probably got cancelled. So it was our first time on Liberty of the Seas. It will also be the last time we are not impressed with the ship at all. But uh, being that we have been on the other two Freedom class, Freedom of the Seas and Independence of the Seas, we wanted to try this one, see if it's as good or probably uh, better but didn't work out like that so far and I can't see how anything will change because the the ship is the capacity it might actually be above maximum capacity we got the number from guest services and I even asked them how could this be when uh, the maximum capacity is this number and they actually let more people into the cabins. I don't know why they would do that, but they did. So the buffets, are, the breakfast, the buffet breakfast opened like an hour late today. I mean, guests were like really packed up all outside waiting for it to open. They made absolutely no announcements whatsoever about the buffet being delayed and opening. And it was just, and it was raining. That, at that time, um, 7 o'clock this morning, it was like pouring heavy rain, really windy. And it was, uh, you know, we weren't getting anywhere. You can see the floor is all muddy and... It's just an ugly day, but, you know, a lot of folks want to get off the ship. And they did. There's a big crowd over here for the flamingos. We've been to Kosamaya so many times, we've never seen it like this crowded and this bad weather, so this is a first for us. Mrs. Casinos didn't even want to get off the ship, not even to walk around in the port. And my friend Kevin over at the Duty Free, he was giving me, uh, you know, good prices on cigarettes and all like that, but I don't really feel like that. We'll be back here next week, so I'll probably do it then. That's what I told them. We'll do it next week when we get back. Okay, so uh, this is the first uh, swim up bar area. This has been expanded. It's uh, so much bigger now. Not the pool area, but the seating area and the lounges. 
and the eating area there's a lot more tables and a lot of the guests are again uh, stacked up out here where they swim where the dolphins are I'm not even gonna go down there. In the last video, I mean, there was absolutely nobody here, and I was uh, the dolphins were out and they were playing, and I got some pretty decent footage of them. Okay, we'll just head out to the other from up our area, the newest one that they put in, it's a couple of months ago. This is a, another new restaurant they put in, El Faro's. Okay, here's a set of steps I could get up. So I'm using the gimbal just as a stick because it's so windy, it'll be blowing around anyways. So there may be a shakiness on this one. But. Okay, I'm gonna pause until we get out. These are our friends here with the uh, the roasted nuts. They always greet us, give us samples. No, on the way back in. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, she wanted to give me another uh, scoop of sample. I said, on the way back in. So this is the second uh, swimmer bar area they put in. A couple of months ago, it was, uh, hold on. Okay, so I was picking up a lot of copyright music there, so I just paused. This is still the second swim up by. There's a, a little drugstore in here too. And here are the locals trying to get uh, get you to come with them to different tours. They do not hassle you as much as in other places. You know, you tell them no, they might try uh, to reduce their price, uh, get you to come with them. But other than that, uh, they don't really. And here are, here are the taxis you would take to go down to the beach. Uh, not today. We'll be back next week, and that's when we'll go. Okay, cruises and casinos. We're in beautiful Costa Maya. It looks like it's starting to clear up, but it's still a chill in the wind. And it still looks like it may rain a bit. But uh, we just wanted to come out and stretch our legs and see if there's anything new in the cruise, cruise part. Not sure if I mentioned it or not, but this is November 2nd, 2023. And this is actually our first port of call on Royal Caribbean Liberty of the Seas. Thanks for watching.